Story number two, should scientists inject Saturn's moon Enceladus with life? Injecting far-flung ice-covered lunar oceans with earthly microbes to see how life is shaped may seem like the diabolical, diabolical plot of a comic book supervillain, but researchers say that given the likelihood of liquid oceans lying under the surfaces of places like Enceladus, Titan, or Europa, all moons of Saturn or Jupiter, now is a good time to take the idea of inoculating a world with life seriously. Could this be humanity's first biosphere <laughs> genesis experiment, says Charles Cockwell in a astrobiologist at the University of Edinburgh in Scotland. Mm -hmm. Saturn's moon Enceladus may be the best place to start with questions about inoculating a foreign world with life due to its having seemingly all the necessary ingredients for life as we know it. This was published by Cockwell and his colleagues in a study published in February. But even the idea of injecting life as a kind of experiment raises all kinds of questions, both ethical and practical. Mm -hmm. How can we be sure there isn't life already there mm -hmm. and, and that we wouldn't be disturbing the development of an alien ecosystem? Yep. Uh, most of what we know about the small Satur uh, Saturnian moons come from NASA's Cassini spacecraft. The craft studied the ring planet 2004 to 2017, flying around its many moons in the process. The story goes on. I thought that was interesting because when I was reading the story, I was I was saying like, well, isn't that one of the places we think there could be life? So like, no, why sorry, are we gonna go? There wasn't life there, but no. it, brings up a, it brings up an interesting question because there was also a story about how uh, scientists are saying there there might be a, a need very very soon to try to terraform Mars. And so it's kind of this idea of uh, putting life on planets and trying to fix or create ecosystems. Like we can't keep our own straight. Why are we going to go start one somewhere else? I think, I, I think of it, well, to play devil's advocate, <laughs> I kind of see it a little bit like um, a sandbox, like yeah. where you, you know, like you don't want to practice on Earth, mm -hmm. but like if Mars is, is the, if it is devoid of life, which we're not 100% sure yet, but if it is devoid of life, wouldn't that be a good place to practice, like how to fix Earth? Yeah, but they're talking about putting stuff in a, in a moon of Saturn, which may or may not have yeah. its life already. Well, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just talking about. I mean, didn't we learn, and... didn't we learn anything from the Europeans coming to North America. You don't bring your germs to other people's places. Oh, it's going to happen. It's you don't, you don't think you don't think ET's brought any germs here? I don't know. I mean, we might be ET germs for all we know. <laughs> That's right? all we are. It's just ET germs. Right? 